Howdy Pards, Ruger Ranger here back with another fantastic gun. Today we've got a Ruger Police 6. Old Police 6, 6 shot, 357 Magnum. Let's take some shots at the target here. It's just starting to rain on my fun. So we'll take a few shots and then we'll head back to the shop and we'll talk about this gun. 4 inch barrel. Spurless hammer, absolutely a fantastic gun. Let's give it a few shots. Well, it's only two, but they are accurate. Before it starts pouring rain on me, let's head back to the shop. Okay, Pards, here we are back at the shop with my Ruger Police Service 6, fantastic gun. You know, this gun originally came out as a Security 6. Security 6 was available in an adjustable sight or a fixed sight, but the butt grip was a little more curved at the bottom. And after six months, they decided they needed a more plow handled grip frame, and they decided that if they were going to get police contracts, they needed to take the fixed sighted version and call it. Yeah, that's right, the Police Service 6, and there you have it. Basically the same gun as a Security 6 except for fixed sights. It's just got a blade pinned to the front of the barrel and a groove in the frame for the rear sight. Fantastic gun. They made it in 357 Magnum. They also made a few special runs in 38 Special and 9mm using moon clips. Those were made for police departments that requested it. The 38 Special, they had a run of 38 Specials that was for the U.S. military to replace some of their aging K-frame Model 10s. You know, when Ruger brought this out, they were going to compete with Smith & Wesson K-frames and the Colt D-Series, and what they decided was the way to compete was to make a cheaper gun that was sturdier, more rugged, and boy did they do it. They put an incredibly thick back strap on it compared to the K-frame or the D-Series, and they also used an offset locking bolt on the cylinder so that it locks up on the thicker part of the cylinder instead of the thin part of the cylinder. And they made themselves what is a truly rugged gun. There is a shooting range that claims they've had a Security 6 in their stable that they've been renting that's had over 1.4 million rounds put through it and never had to have anything fixed or replaced on the gun, just regular cleaning. Absolutely a fantastic gun. And they'd still be making it today, except for Smith & Wesson came out with the L-frame to compete with. That's right, they needed to get a beefier gun. They were having some problems with their K-frames and 357 Magnum, not holding up anywhere near as long as this Ruger. So they brought out the L-frame to compete with the Security 6, and as a result, Ruger dropped the Security 6 and beefed it up, bringing it out as, that's right, the GP100, another fantastic gun. Both of which, if you like revolvers, you got to get yourself a Security 6, or in this case, a Police Service 6, and you got to get yourself a GP100, fantastic gun in 357 Magnum. This gun was available in two and three quarter inch barrel and a four inch barrel. This one, of course, is the four inch barrel. It also came in a spurless hammer like I've got here or a hammer with a spur. Now the spurless hammer is not double action only. It is a regular hammer. It has checkering on the top, but it's a little tricky to cock it. To cock it, you have to pull the trigger, grab onto the hammer and pull it back. Nothing I would ever do, let me tell you and nothing I ever have done other than showing people how it works. I've always shot this gun double action, and that's it. Just a great gun, very accurate gun. The sights are dead on. This gun will shoot dead center every time if you do your part. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you like the Ruger Ranger channel, please subscribe. Till next time, may your boots never get dusty, may your guns never get rusty. For me and my favorite old gun that I carried for years, go out there and stay safe.